Come with me, toy fans. Well, today's been quite the interesting day. A certain toy guru has his reputation finally flushed down the toilet. <laughs> And I also learned which YouTubers would sell their opinions to Mattel for the cost of a bribe, for the cost of their integrity. And I'm not talking about suspicions here, I've got actual proof. And in today's video, I'm going to talk a little bit about how toy companies bribe your favourite YouTubers. So if you want to get a bit of the inside scoop, stay tuned. Oh, it's alive! It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! Hey toy fans, my name is Tony and welcome back to the Analog Toys YouTube channel. Now first of all, I want to address the, uh, the elephant in the room which is the claims that were made by a certain toy guru, some recent claims, I want to say a couple of months ago, that the Motu Origins line would be dead. You know, I, I can't remember what the exact sort of date was, I think you talked about April 1st, which I think he's... Uh, teeing up for a weird April Fool's joke. The thing is, with April Fool's jokes, they're supposed to happen on April 1st, on April Fool's. You don't take a three-month run up to an April Fool's joke. It's no longer an April Fool's joke. But he claimed that, you know, the Motu line was going away, and it was going away very, very soon. Then, after immense audience backlash, uh, people really challenging him on this, he then backpedaled and said, no, 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 it's just going to be going away at retail. Well... As I'm sure anyone who kind of follows Motu Origins and, and you follow certain channels here on YouTube who talk about Motu Origins a lot, there was a whole ton of new reveals that came out today. And, or might even have been yesterday. I don't know when this video will get uploaded, but you know what I mean. Um, and these new reveals, they're going to be at retail. So at this point, it's proven that this guy doesn't know what he's talking about and anyone who's still following him is a bigger idiot than he is in my opinion. The guy's just got absolutely no clue. But uh, enough of that. Recently, I was contacted by the influencer marketing manager for Mattel. Just think about that job title for a moment, right? When a company actually has a job title, someone in a position and their job is influencer marketing manager. Their sole job is trying to get so-called influencers. I don't even really know what the fuck that means these days. Um, I, I don't like being branded. I don't consider myself an influencer. I don't like to be branded as an influencer. But what they're talking about is, is people who have a voice in the social media space, right? I was contacted by uh, this influencer marketing manager and just to think that Mattel has a position like that within their company, that person's role would be, how can we get YouTube personalities and people with huge you know, Instagram followings and that kind of thing, how can we get them to do our marketing for us and do it for free? Well, they do it by bribing you. When I was first contacted by this guy from Mattel, you can see the email here. He was reaching out on behalf of the Masters of the Universe team at Mattel saying that we had that they had this exciting opportunity for me to gain special access to Motu news and products this year. This invitation is only extended to a select group of the most engaged Motu collectors and friends of Mattel from around the world and we'd like you to be a part of it and here's how. And what this basically meant was any of these YouTube channels or whoever they are, these influencers, anyone who signed a non-disclosure agreement with them could, would be given access to a whole host of images from their upcoming Masters of the Universe 2023 full catalogue. And the, ND, the reason for the NDA was that you were not allowed to reveal any of these images before 9am Pacific time on Monday the 20th of March, which was yesterday at the date of recording this video. I have no real idea of how many other YouTube channels Mattel contacted, but it's pretty easy to do a search and look at any of these videos that came out just after 9am Pacific time on the 20th of March, and you'll see which YouTube channels actually signed this non-disclosure agreement and went in this kind of agreement with Mattel to market their products on their behalf. 
And the reason they did this is because Mattel were offering a number of perks. Again, I refer to the email that I got from the influencer marketing coordinator, sorry, not manager, influence co influencer marketing coordinator for Mattel. It says here, the perks that you could receive to participate include sneak peeks at announcement and content releases, opportunities to get new product, and even access to exclusive Motu events. So let's break down these three perks one at a time. The first one is early access to Mattel imagery. Now, this is a very clever play by Mattel to entice YouTubers with an offer like this because if you can be given uh, imagery of new Masters of the Universe Origins figures that haven't yet been announced, if you can get access to that like 10 days before the embargo lifts and you're allowed to release, you can pre-produce a video and it benefits the YouTube channel to get that content out there because if they're one of the first out of the gate, that video is going to do really well in terms of views, which is going to do well for the channel. The problem is you are taking this benefit of early access and, it, and it's costing you your integrity. That's the way I view it anyway. Now, the second perk was free product. And I'm sure this is a major enticement to a lot of YouTube channels. If you're a fan of Masters of the Universe Origins, you want to get some free shit from Mattel, right? Well, Despite what everyone has claimed over the years um, regarding my relationship with Valiverse, I am actually uh, part of the brand. I'm, 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 I'm in a contract, but um, I still buy all my stuff from Valiverse. I have purchased every, what, at least one of every single figure from every single wave, and I've got the receipts. I've got receipts for my purchases from Series 1, Series 2A, Series 2B, the Special Deployment Series, Series 3. I buy all my stuff from Valiverse. There's a couple of reasons that I do this. Even though Bobby offers to send me free stuff, right? I buy this stuff because I genuinely love the line and I want to see it succeed. And the best way for me to do that is to put my money where my mouth is and actually pay for the items that I want in my collection. I also, um, Bobby and I have a genuine friendship and I don't want to take advantage of that friendship. I don't want a, our friendship to ever be based around the fact that I get some free toys from him. That's not what it's about for me. Like, I love what he's doing and I want to support it. And I also, I think his figures are great value for money. People believe that, uh, so a lot of people claim that, you know, Bobby funds my, my trip to America last year, my trip to America this year again. I'm just not the kind of guy, I just don't feel comfortable doing that. I know there are some YouTubers out there, out there who have started GoFundMes to fund their trips to Joe Fest and thing. I'm not throwing shade at them, that's just not who I am. If I can't afford to go myself, and I'm certainly not a wealthy man, I'm a working class guy, um, you know, trying to raise a family. If I can't afford to go, I'm just not gonna go. It's not worth it to me to have my friend stump up the money to pay for my trip over there because Joe Fest is a very small part of my trip to the United States. I'll, I'll be honest. You know, I only spend half of my time over there with Bobby. I spend the other half with my friends at Retro Blasting and, and various other things. So, you know, I'm, I'm going on a, you know, three week international holiday. I don't want someone else to pay for that just to get me to appear at a convention that I just genuinely want to support anyway. It's also very important to note that when I make videos about Valiverse Action Force, it's once again because I've made a vast catalog of mini documentaries about the vintage Action Force line. I've made documentaries about the Palatoy Action Man line. And now that the brand continues on in the new millennium under Valiverse, I wanna to continue to make these documentaries, these mini documentaries, as a long-standing record of the history of Action Force and all the toys that were ever produced under that franchise name. I do it because I genuinely enjoy it. My channel is known as the Action Force Action Man slash channel and this is the new incarnation of Action Force and I want to continue to document the brand's history. I'm not doing this for free toys because as I've already proven I buy my own stuff and I'm certainly not doing it for views because Valiverse Action Force don't get great views on my channel. Videos on my channel that do enormous numbers in terms of views 
and my reviews of vintage toys. You can see it here, the numbers do not lie. I make my videos about Valiverse Action Force because I bloody well want to, and it's simple as that. I'm not trying to sell this shit to anybody, I just love the stuff. For those of you out there who want to pass judgment on me, and you've, I've, you've seen you all do it in the past, calling me a Valiverse shill, you're making such an uninformed judgment that it makes you look really stupid. It's not as though my channel was based around like solely Masters of the Universe and then all of a sudden I started making all these videos about Action Force. My channel was built on Action Force and Action Man documentaries. I've been passionate about this line since I was four years old. I'm passionate about documenting, documenting its history. That's why I even asked Bobby when he was creating the Desert Rat figure to have one of the secondary skills on the file card to be regimental historian. Plainly and simply, I am just passionate about recording the history of this brand. The history that's gone before and the new history as it's created continually. Anyone who thinks my opinion has been bought and paid for is not looking at the evidence and you're a fucking idiot. The third perk, as they called it, was potentially getting access to exclusive Motu events. I don't know what that means, whether it's conventions or some online live streams or whatever, I, I don't know. But again, when you're reaching out to people who run a YouTube channel, you know, again, that can be very, very enticing because getting access to these exclusive events gets you the inside scoop. They actually talk a lot in this email um, and some of the um, at attached documentation that came through with it that once you basically signed this NDA and went into this agreement with them, they referred to you as a Motu insider. You know, so by getting access to these exclusive events, you know, like if it is an in-person convention, of course, you can take video footage at the event, get out content that other YouTube channels can't do. It's great for your channel, but once again, it comes at the sacrifice of your integrity. Now, nowhere in any of these documentations, in the emails or the NDA, does Mattel ever say that you can't speak disparagingly about their products. They don't, they don't say that. They say you can't make false claims like you're in some kind of a um, financial contract with Mattel, you're not employed by Mattel, you can't say things like that. You can't also make um, incorrect you know, claims such as this is the best-selling figure in the range when you don't know if it is the, big, the, the best-selling figure. You can say, you know, this is an awesome looking figure or whatever. But the issue that I have with this is, for those of you who pay close attention to the toy world on YouTube, you'll know that in February of last year, an entire YouTube channel was taken down. Like, not the video, the whole channel was taken down. And they didn't even have a non-disclosure agreement with Mattel. Their channel was taken down because they bought some Jurassic Park toys and they did a review and they put it online before an embargo was lifted. But the issue was that the retailer put these toys up for sale before they were supposed to. So the issue Mattel actually should have had was with the retailer. But no, it was the YouTube channel that was punished. So anyone who signed this NDA and gone into this Motu Insider Agreement with Mattel has really just made a deal with the devil. You've put your channel at risk. You can no longer step a foot wrong in anything you say about Mattel or their products. It's also mentioned in the attached Motu Insider free product letter. Right at the very bottom of this letter, it states that, please note that Mattel monitors what is being said about our brands and products, and we may ask you to update or delete videos or posts that include our brands. So while nowhere in any of these emails or documentation does it say that you must speak positively about Mattel, it's quite clear to anyone engaging into this agreement with the company, anyone who signed this non-disclosure agreement to get early access, you know, in the hope of getting free product and maybe getting invited to some kind of Masters of the Universe convention later in the year, anyone who entered into that knows that they have got to be on Mattel's side. Otherwise, they're at risk of, in the worst case scenario, having their entire channel taken down. There's nothing wrong with that. Like, it, 
people all want to grow their, their channels in their own ways, but I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an inside scoop on how these toy companies approach what they call influencers. I'm, I'm just a YouTube content creator. I'm not, a, I'm not an influencer. Most of the time, I'm making videos about vintage toys, so I don't know how I'm influencing anyone because you can't go out and buy half the shit that I cover on my channel anyway. Um, but what I'm saying is a lot of these channels also do reviews of these products. And while I do think it's crazy that some people will make a call on whether or not to buy a figure based on YouTube videos, personally, I just think if you like something, go and buy it. If action figures aren't that expensive, if you're getting into like a new wave and you're a little bit reluctant, just buy one figure, check it out, see what you think. And if you have a good experience, go and buy the rest of the wave. Don't base it on a YouTube review video because there are so many YouTube review videos out there where the opinions are bought and paid for with bribes like these. Bribes of early access to pipeline reveals and things like that, bribes of free product, and bribes of access to exclusive events. Because I knew this embargo was being lifted at 9 a.m. Pacific time on Monday the 20th of March, I just took this screenshot here where all I searched was Motu Origins reveals. And any video that was published within like 14 or 15 hours of when I captured the screenshot is a channel that signed an NDA with Mattel to be a Motu Insider to get access to these free perks. Their opinions are now bought and paid for with Mattel. It's not like a hugely evil thing or anything like that. I'm not slamming any of these channels, you know, if they, if they want to use that relationship to help grow their channel, I, I wish them the best of luck. But I also think it's important for the audience to understand what goes on in the background and how these kind of, these, how these deals are made. Now with full transparency, I did sign this one NDA with Mattel because I was genuinely interested to see what would follow once the NDA was signed. I never had any intention of giving them free marketing. I'm not a massive fan of Motu Origins. I, I got a lot of stuff from like the first and second waves and then I just I dipped out of it. There's too much, just too much reuse, too many repaints in a, too many repaints in probably the most reused line, action figure line that there is available today, right? I'm not interested in giving them free marketing. I'm not passionate about that line. But I thought I'm gonna sign this NDA because first of all, I knew the NDA was only gonna be valid until midnight on the 20th of March. And that I just wanted to genuinely see what would come after it. You know, would there be more information about these perks? Because I wanted to see really what it was that these other YouTubers were engaging in with regard to their agreement. Now, once I'd signed that NDA, I could have come out with a video showing all these new products and I, my channel would have got a few views, but that was not worth it to my integrity. I didn't want to be captured in this same group of channels following a trend who all of a sudden everyone was live streaming just after 9 a.m. on Monday the 20th, or they were putting out videos revealing all of this new product. They've, they've made a deal with the devil. I didn't want to make that deal with the devil. And by actually not showing any of those images, it's irrelevant whether I signed that NDA or not, because that's all that NDA was about. And I know after this video, Mattel's certainly not going to be sending me any more early access images, free product or access to exclusive events. And I couldn't give a shit. I don't, I don't want it anyway. I think it's better to be transparent, open and honest with my audience because it's your opinion that really matters to me. Not the trolls, fuck you guys, but the genuine audience. I, 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 I like to interact with you guys in the comment section. I like to interact with you in the live streams. And my reputation means more to me than getting, getting a boost in views by putting out some early release images and doing Mattel's advertising job for them. I'm not the man for that. So I hope you've found this video somewhat interesting and certainly 
The next time you're thinking about basing your purchase decisions when it comes to action figures, if you're gonna base those decisions on YouTube reviews, I'd just go out, buy one figure, and if you like it, if you think the quality's there, if you think the value's there, go out and buy the rest of the wave if that's what you wanna do. Don't base those purchase decisions on the video reviews of so-called influencers, because the vast majority of them out there are in some kind of a, an agreement with these companies, certainly the bigger channels anyway. So the more you know, and knowing is half the battle. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.